Now, this is the thing. Um, like, uh, like when I had, you know, when I was in kidney failure, it was like unending suffering. It was really, really horrific. And uh, and I got to meet Hawkins, and and I had hope. And, but I also had something else, which I, I knew there is a solution, and I had the willingness to go to any lengths to get out of hell. That, those are two great combinations. Like, if you, know, if you know that something can get you out of hell, I think there's a problem with spiritual seekers, is they're not sure. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like there's five million books on the bookshelves telling you five, five million different things mm -hmm. to get to, to, and every one of them is promising you that this is the right approach. So, but the thing that I got, because I had spiritual, profound spiritual experiences with my spiritual teachers, is it was like spiritual exploration stopped for me. It's like I do, a, you know, it's like I do a course in miracles. Twenty-three of my illnesses have gone. I ran a group for sick people and people recovered from AIDS, from cancer, from all kinds of uh, life-threatening illnesses, mm -hmm. and I knew he was telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Uh, did I have any inclination to explore any more books or try any more methods? No. That was it. I, was, I wanted out of hell. I knew there was an answer. Mm -hmm. I was willing to stop the exploration and start applying. Like, my life depends on it. Mm -hmm. So, he taught A Course in Miracles. He personally said the lessons. The lessons are the critical thing, the daily lessons. Mm -hmm. And he said, like, if these lessons, and I, sh I knew saying the truth, had got him out of 23 illnesses, other people had recovered from life-threatening illnesses, I'm going to do these lessons every day to the very best of my, my ability, like my life depends on it. There was no, like, st you know, going to the local spiritual club, this, that, or the other. Just apply, be diligent. And so there's this great tenacity, you know, that came out. And, there was a, and he said this other thing, you know, and I've seen so many Course in Miracles students come in here, and I, I got it. Like, most students stop within 20, 30, 50 days, and then they stop, you know. And they do this thing, which I understand, which is they try and... They don't get a lesson perfectly, so they have to do it again and again and again, and then they stop. You know, and I go, no, it's like, you know, I think Hawkins said this, like, just do one lesson a day. And if it's not perfect, go to the next lesson. You know, it's very, very simple, you know, so... Uh, and I knew that my morning practice has to be... It, it, today, I read my Course in Miracles lesson. I, I've done the Course in Miracles year after year. I don't know, what is it, 9, 10, 11 years? Every year, at the end of 365, it's one. And after the another 365, it's one. Again, it's just part of it. You know, when you, when you commit, the beginning, you know, the beginning is tough because your ego fights to stop practice. But after a while, if you've done it for a few months and you don't back down, it becomes effortless. You know, it's part of who I am to do my daily lesson. Also, I, I saw the genius of A Course in Miracles. Well, I'm a great fan of A Course in Miracles because mm -hmm. they start you off twice a day and then after a little while you're doing it every 10 minutes. So I saw the, like, I saw what the, the Holy Spirit was saying. Like, you know, your ego gets hooked into the world and he'll hooked into its story. So you have to break that addiction to thought and the world consistently throughout the day. You know, like twice a day start off. But then, you know, then I got an alarm clock that goes off every hour, every half an hour, every 10 minutes. And I started to feel happier and weller. Because it's, it's breaking. You know, this is like, this world is like how to pick up limitation yes. and suffering non-stop. Mm. You know, just doing one minute for, you know, in the morning and then indulging the negativity of life and your head for 23 hours. I saw that's not going to break an addiction to the suffering of this world. You know, the Course is right. Like every 10 minutes, every 5 minutes, constantly, these thoughts are meaningless. I cancel my belief in this illness. I'm an infinite being. I cancel my belief in poverty consciousness. I'm an infinite being. You've got to be like the diligence throughout the day to maintain free of the, ne of the limited programming from my own head and from others. It's not going to be, like to break an addiction, if you're addicted to negativity and picking up crap from the world, like just doing one minute and then doing like 20 hours of picking up negativity is not going to get you well very quickly. Mm -hmm. So that discipline, you know, to get well from illness means very entrenched, you know, very entrenched belief systems. To unhook that, 
you know, needs like, you know, like doing two days and then giving up is not going to take out a belief system. I saw like a belief system is a thought that repeats over and over and over again, like some kind of repetitive, I've got this, this label of this illness or this allergy or this. It's like to break that, if it's so strong, going through your consciousness all throughout the day in the unconscious and the conscious, to break that you need something equal and opposite, to break that level of negativity, you see. So I really, I know, you know people don't like um, discipline or daily practice or mindfulness or whatever you call, but it's like, I, you know, like I want to be free. I want to be free of the suffering of this world. So I just think, you know, like if you're suffering, uh, you know, you must choose your part. I chose, of course, the miracles and the lessons for me. I think, you know, text is, is beautiful. And I know I'm going to make this piss some people off. Text is beautiful in reading stuff. But I think apl application has great power. Like, you know, reading something is lovely. But, you know, every time something pops up, it's meaningless. Or I cancel my belief. God did not create it. I pray for a miracle to see it differently as it pops up throughout the day. For me, there's great power in application throughout the day. I think it's lovely to read stuff, but I think that's mindfulness throughout the day. You know, I had so much freedom through being willing to apply daily practice. More than daily practice, like start off with daily practice and then increase it throughout the day, practice throughout the day. Yeah. And the more I practice, and then these things become more and more effortless. I remembered like, it would be like having a shield of peace to apply my course throughout the day. You know, and I, each time I applied it more regularly throughout the day, I got happier and happier. And I knew that if I applied it less, like the world would start to, I'd start to pick up the negativity. So I knew, like I wanted more protection. I wanted to apply more regularly throughout the day, not less regularly, because the miracles happened the more and more I applied diligently throughout the day. You know, for me, the ego is, the ego is a thing of sabotage. You know, you're, the ego will not like what I said. You know, like, do it for one day and then take a break for a few weeks. <laughs> 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 because you've been good, you know. So, anyway, that's a my little poke of the ego. Okay.